nights like tonight can't happen without the support of our sponsors. And our major, one of our major sponsors tonight is Royal Rehab. We have Matt Mackay from... Mackay or McKay, sorry? Mackay. Mackay, cool. I checked that before, didn't I? Yeah, but it's the pressure, mate. I can understand. You will. You will. They're a tough crowd, mate. They're a tough crowd. Matt Mackay. Mackay. My dog's from Mackay. Just... My dog is from Mackay in, in Queensland. Yeah, my staffy. That's just a little aside. Alfie, go to bed. Okay, so Matt is from Royal Rehab. And as I say, tonight wouldn't be possible without Royal Rehab. So give Matt a big, big, big hand. Because tonight he's buying the drinks. Come on, Matt. All the best, mate. Jeez. Tough crowd. No, they love you. Hey, my guts, they love you. Cheers. Thank you. Oh, looking this way. Yeah, no pressure. No pressure at all. Um, thank you, everybody. Um, and can I start by sharing a little story with you? Uh, in 1964, an American writer and magazine editor, Norman Cousins, was diagnosed with ankylosing spondylitis, a degenerative disease causing the breakdown of collagen. It caused him great pain and suffering, and he was given only a few months to live. However, Cousins didn't take the news lying down. He became an expert in the biochemistry of human emotions and believed that positive emotions could play an important role in fighting his disease. As part of his therapy, Cousins insisted on regularly watching humorous movies and TV shows, and he famously said that with laughter, produced a natural anesthesia for his body, and that just after 10 minutes of belly laughs would give him two hours of pain-free sleep. Cousins, who became a passionate advocate for mind-body connection as well as for world peace, lived almost free from pain for another 25 years. Receiving numerous honorary degrees and awards for scientific contributions, his recovery baffled the medical community inspired many research projects on the medicinal benefits of laughter and positivity. But in fact, humans have known since the beginning of recorded time that humour, laughter, health are interwoven. And in ancient Greece, for example, around 3,000 years ago, just the other day, physicians would prescribe a visit to the Hall of Comedians as part of their healing therapy. Should be more of that now. I'll, I'll talk to my doctors about doing that in my hospital. Clayton, very good. We know that medicine men from Native America tribes use clowns to make their patients laugh that aid the healing process. And even the Bible's book of the Proverbs said, a cheerful, a cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. As a CEO of Royal Rehab, I've seen time and time again the people going through huge amounts of pain and suffering and hardship with the people that we look after. And I categorically agree that a positive attitude can be life-changing for all. It's not funny has got it spot on. As a community group that helps Parkinson sufferers deal with their condition, the self-depreciating humour that is at the heart of its not funny community is based on thousands of years of human knowledge of the power of humour and positivity. Even their cleverly named events such as this one, Unshaken, which is sensational, especially if you like gin. Shaking? Yeah. While I'm doing it? No, I'm showing. Oh, unshaken. Right, follow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, it's, it's good helps break the ice of uh, the human psyche. Uh, sorry, I've lost, where am I lost? lost where I'm Just start again, because it's quite good. No. Well, I've got to talk for five minutes. Oh, right, yeah. It's a comedy routine now. Well, that's what it says. <laughs> uh, where am I? Even their cleverly named events such as this one, Unshaken, help break the ice sorry. by poking fun at the disease. While... <laughs> I've got Parkinson's. Oh. Does it wreck your eyes? Yeah, it's, there is a link. Is there? Yeah. Righto. Um, even their cleverly... No uh, where am I? While, in, while well, engendering the power of the human side, it's not how funny. How many genes have you had? Not enough. <laughs> it's not funny. Welcomes anyone dealing with the Parkinson's diagnosis and shows them there is still room for laughter, fun and living life to the fullest. At Royal Rehab, we are currently celebrating 120 years of providing rehab and disability support service to Australians. Our primary aim is to help the people achieve as much independence and quality of life as possible, which closely matches the objectives and the values of It's Not Funny. Royal Rehab is no strange, stranger to Parkinson's disease, and in fact, we are very excited to be offering a brand new internationally recognised program, the PD Warrior Program, which helps to slow the symptoms of Parkinson's, 
And this is an intensive exercise program designed for people who are newly diagnosed. You're losing and, my glasses. And, and, well, sorry, your glasses. And works by tapping into the brain's ability to retain its, uh, itself by driving neuroplastic change. Excuse me if I fall off my chair, because it's, it's like being on a terrible ride. <laughs> Do you want to take the glasses off? No, it's all right. I'll keep wearing them. Sure. Does they all look good? Yeah, take them off. Yeah. They work for me. They work for me. You look better oh, no. now. <laughs> Dr. Anuka Paraparam, one of our uh, rehab medicine spe specialists, um, and part of today's expert panel of speakers, has for many years has many years of experience working with people who live with Parkinson's disease. She understands how difficult, shocking, and scary it can be uh, to be delivered that Parkinson's disease initial diagnosis. But Anuka and her team are very optimistic about the potentially far-reaching effects of the PD Warrior program in helping sufferers both with physical and cognitive symptoms. The program will draw on Royal Rehab's multidisciplinary team of physios, nurses, occupational therapists, exercise physiologists and speech pathologists, all working together to create a fun, dynamic and supportive environment using early intervention techniques to slow the progression of the disease and to improve the quality of life. Through Royal Rehab's private hospital, we also offer two other well-known and effective evidence-based therapy programs for people with Parkinson's disease, um, SLVT Big and SLVT Loud. That we use the We Fit and the Smart Fit pr software programs in our programs for balance and cognitive training. And the Smart Fit at Royal Rehab is one of the only available in the country. This highly advanced technological uh, workout machine, it says, that's, that's very medical, workout machine, integrates specialised program to train the brain and the body by building strength, optimising motor skills and enhancing cognitive functioning. I would really like to thank the FFS and Robin and all the wonderful people It's Not Funny for giving Raw Rehab the opportunity to be involved in this really special event. We're very honoured. Thanks to Archie Rose Distilling Company for having us here tonight and allowing us to enjoy a gin and tonic together, uh, one or two. And the community support and positivity uh, and humour that this amazing group of people extends to the sufferers of Parkinson's disease is truly amazing. I hope that everyone enjoys tonight. Feel free to come and talk to me, or there's quite a few members of my team here as well, both doctors and nurses and all of the above. Uh, please come and talk to all of us if you've got anything, uh, any questions about Royal Rehab. Uh, enjoy the night, and uh, thank you very much for hearing me out for thank five you, minutes. Thank you, Matt. <laughs> come on, give it up for Matt. You gave me more applause than that. Come on. Thank you very much.